And we're speaking around the 55th anniversary of Apollo 8, which flew three astronauts around the moon in 1968. Artemis II's flyby is coming close to recreating that scenario. And so can you talk about the parallels between the two missions from your point of view? We see parallel. I, I wish Victor and Christina were in here because they would give you a far better answer. We see all those parallels. I let me let me give you two two sides of an answer. First, the the parallel I most like to draw right now is that we are building on the Mercury, Gemini, Apollo era for sure. But when I look at what we're doing in Artemis, it feels to me in Artemis that we are more building on the International Space Station and a long-term presence. I feel the International Space Station in everything we do. I feel the international community. I feel the way we do export control, the way we farm out hardware to different experts around the world. And then we pull all of this together. We have an international crew. We don't really have that, like, before this decade is out, we are going to do this. We don't feel that space race necessarily as the crew. Uh, but we do feel a really robust international team. Everywhere we go, we try to highlight the Artemis Accords. I think we're up to 32 nations, maybe even 33 now. Um, so I just feel like this, to me, feels like it's built on the International Space Station legacy of a little slower, methodical, we're here for the long term. However, um, the, the, the day we got announced when you were here, April 3rd, uh, sitting on my couch later that day, completely exhausted. My cell phone rings. It's an unknown number. I thought it was a telemarketer and I picked it up all annoyed. It was Tom Stafford, you know, who flew Apollo 10, not eight, but 10. And he was so excited that we were heading back to the moon. And just to know that we are going to go out and try to wrap, uh, Apollo seven, eight, and a little bit of like 10 into one mission. I, it's just, it, you know, Victor walks around and says the moon is the mission. And he's right. Like we have got to get used to flying out into deep space. We've got to get out of low earth orbit, get start making it comfortable to go out to the moon. And that's what Artemis two is going to go do. And then Artemis three will do more than we could ever even dream of. So I love the parallels. I think Apollo eight, once we did Apollo eight, I think everybody in the United States knew we can land now. Like that was, that mission meant so much to just go and go and the systems work. Holy smokes, we can fly around the moon. We can read from the book at Genesis on Christmas Eve on the back far side of the moon. You know, it's just all that stuff is just amazing to me. So we, we do think about that legacy a lot. 